Hello, 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 dolls. It is I, Art with PR. You know your girl. Hello, dolls. So, here we are with another video. This video is all about Daniel Smith's secondary set. These colors, I don't know why they called to me, but they did. I found them so vibrant and they have so many different levels. Oh, the funny thing about the good <laughs> act burnt orange color, there was some weird film, like rubbery, crystallized, something goo in the top. It only happened to that one tube of paint. Um, so I don't know if it was an old tube or if it was just that batch. I don't have I don't know, but there was some weird gunk in there. It didn't happen to the other two colors at all, which is really nice. Um, I went ahead and put them into pans and swatched them out a little bit. And you can definitely see that these colors can be very, very buildable. You can put less color, more color, and I kind of wanted to play with that. This sketch that I'm painting was kind of like a throwaway sketch. It was something I sketched from a random referral, not referral, um, a random picture I found, I was just trying to capture the hair mostly and the position of the face. So it's not an actual like true life um, drawing of a girl or anything. I kind of, it's still like a mixture between cartoony and somewhat realistic, which I tend to do a lot. Um, I went ahead and did some light washes just so I could figure out where I wanted to put the colors. Started with her skin. I used the uh, orange color for that. Now, the orange color, it can look a little brown if you make it really thick. And I enjoyed painting this painting, even though, like I said, the drawing itself was technically going to be just something I was going to throw away. I had it kind of just thrown over into my sash of papers um, that you, I have a whole bunch of sketchbooks and watercolor pants, booklets, blah, blah. don't mind me, my mouth doesn't want to work. <laughs> uh, and so it was just sitting over there and I was like, what am I going to use these three colors for? I have gotten another Daniel set before, that one was the um, Daniel Smith Primatech set, and that one had like six colors, and it was like two years ago. I will put that in the link down below for you guys, or in the card thing for you, so you can check out that video as well. And again, that was like this quick sketch too, and it was a fairy, I believe. Um, basically, I just want to see what these colors can do. I did them on their own, I did some mixies, I did some glazing, I tried to use the colors in the lightest way I could possibly use them, and I also tried to build up colors, and I don't mind how the piece actually turned out. Mind you, I painted this on some really cheap watercolor paper, so there is some buckling and some pulling and some issues, but I think the way that it turned out was pretty decent. At least for me, I'm not going to ever say that I'm a professional watercolorist or anything like that because I'm still learning watercolors. And I will say it you can get better experience with the more you practice because I feel like I've definitely learned a lot over the last maybe three years with watercolors. And I don't know, this set, it called to me. I had it on my wish list for a long time and I finally picked it up. And I was really excited to see the different ways that these colors could work. And I had some issues with her skin, and you'll see that coming up um, when I was trying to give shadow and dimension and things like that. It did get a little splotchy here and there, but I think I salvaged it pretty well. Her hair was a lot of fun to do, again, using different. Um, amounts of the color and staining it and trying to add shadow and still have highlights in there. It was a lot of fun to toy with and these colors, if you haven't tried the secondary set, I would definitely do that. I don't have the first set, 
the primary color set. I don't have that from Daniel Smith, but I did want to pick these ones up. They have the colors just they're so different than anything I've ever seen before. The orange, since it is a burnt orange color, you could do a lot of different things with that. And the undersea green, it has this ability to be pretty granulating, even though it says medium. Um, it was pretty much the most granulating one out of the three. Um, both the undersea green and the carbazole violet both say that they're medium um, granulation, or yes, they do granulate. They're both semi-transparent, and they are both mid-staining. Um, but they both granulate really well, especially if you do separate washes and then add water later. It can actually help with a lot of the granulation. I don't know what else to paint with them. So if you dolls want to suggest some things, maybe some scenery or some things like that that you think I could do with this set, comment down below because I would love to try these colors in a different way. Um, if you don't already, you can hit that subscribe button and hit that like button for the video because it really does help me out. I'm not one to um, promote much. Uh, on here, which is probably why I have a slow growing channel. Uh, but I do also use Instagram quite frequently and update that quite, quite often. You can see works in progress, pieces that I finished before I even put them up here in, on YouTube for you dolls to watch the videos of. See, this is what I mean when I was trying to build her skin tone and shadows and stuff like that. It did get a little patchy, and I go back a few different times and try to fix that. And once I got it to something I could deal with, I just left it alone. Right now, I'm trying to work out values so that it's not all one note. And yeah, I don't know. Like, if you guys could help me out, follow me, hit that like button, I'd be much appreciated. Sorry, my brain is all over the place. I am dealing with a. Uh, allergic reaction to some penicillin and I've got some swollen hands and some itchiness going on so it's a little funny right now but anyway I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope to finish editing other videos I have for you I have some really cool videos coming up where I do some mixed media paintings and pencil work and some pastel colors and yeah I'm really just trying to enjoy what I paint and I hope you dolls enjoy it too. Don't forget, if you have any ideas of things I can paint with this set, it's just three colors, and it's pretty nice, actually. So if you can think of something I can paint with just these colors and maybe white, um, then please comment down below for me, and I will try to do that. Anyway, dolls, don't forget to keep those creative juices flowing, because you know that I will, because why not? That's what we're here for, and making sure that everyone stays creative keeps me happy so you dolls have a great one because this one is over bye it's